Oh, damn it. Hmm. Uh, just, just, just forget about what you saw, okay? Oh, come on, it can't be that hard. Just think of it as, uh, 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 really bad acid trip. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. You don't do acid. Okay, uh, 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 uh. Hangover, then a hangover, yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> of course you're not drunk. Well, consider yourself lucky. I could surely use a drink right about now. All right, I'll admit it, I messed up. Big time, in fact. Oh, my boss is gonna kill me. Okay, I know you have a lot of questions, so let's do them one at a time, okay? Great, thanks. Who am I? Oh, going with the heavy hitters first, are we? <sighs> Well, it's kind of hard to explain. You see, how do I put this? Okay, you know the whole ordeal about how mirrors reflect light based on whatever angle light strikes it, right? Not really. All right, let me give you an example. Um, imagine you're holding a tennis ball and you're standing in front of a wall, if you throw the ball at the wall, it would bounce right back to you, right? Okay, good, good, good. So now you decide to turn and position yourself at a 45 degree angle. If you throw the ball at the wall again at your current position, it wouldn't directly bounce right back to you, right? Well, light works in the same way. Photons constantly hit it at basically every angle, even if you can't see it most of the time, reflecting them back in the process. Looks like you understand, for the most part, at least. I know, I know, I know, I know, I would get into that. <sighs> you see, the thing is, I'm... you. And I know, I know, I know, I know, what sorcery is this? If you are me, then who am I? Uh, the answer to that is you are you also. But I think it would be better to answer what I am instead of who I am. Unless, of course, you're ready to have a massive migraine from the paradoxal explanation for the next six weeks. I didn't think so. The best and simplest way I can describe it is that I am a sentient, natural manifestation of photons, created to be your purely identical copy, even down to the genetics, or so I heard. Well, I guess a clone is one way to put it, but I like to think it's more along the lines of an artificial byproduct of humans that hails from a natural occurrence of photon activity. Told you it was complicated. Oh, and paradoxical. No, 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 it's fine. Take your time. I'm not trying to give you a headache or anything. If you need some time to think, then go right ahead. Okay, you ready? All right, ask away. How am I sentient? Well, to be honest, I... I have no idea. Neither does anyone from our species, actually. From what we can gather, we basically woke up, in a sense. Then after that, we basically started working to establish a civilization and all that. As for how we did that, we basically learned as we went. From you, or rather, humans in general. Since you only see us as a reflection of yourselves, we basically pick up everything from you. Oh, the whole reflection thing. Well, following one incident, we agreed that it would be best to mimic you all, 
and we had to make sure with picture perfect, which was you know, strangely pretty easy. Muscle memory, I guess? Th that's how I perceived it. Oh, the incident. Well, it was more like incidents. We have to be careful not to reveal our nature so as to not cause some poor individual to go mad and basically burn their house down, followed by a trip to a mental asylum, which happen quite often, usually in that order for some reason. By the way, aside from the initial shock, you are taking this pretty well. Let me assure you, you're not crazy. I know all of this may seem crazy, but you're not crazy. I'm as real as can get. Wait, why would you just accept that you're crazy? Listen, it's not a bad thing that you talk to yourself all the time. In fact, studies have shown that people who talk to themselves often have a higher level of intelligence than the average. When someone talks to themselves, it usually involves some sort of problem solving, concentration, planning, and motivation. And believe me when I tell you, it's a very normal thing. It's a lot more common than you think. But what? Hey, you're not a loner or a loser. Besides, you got me here now, so you won't feel so lonely anymore. Still downing yourself, huh? <sighs> Sorry, just, I wasn't going to say anything, but, buddy, you definitely got the wrong idea about yourself. I mean, listen to yourself. I'm a loner. I'm a loser. Nobody likes me. Nobody loves me. I must be the weirdest person who has ever walked the face of the earth. So I may as well be the crazy one here. Come on, you and I both know that that isn't true at all. Of course I know that. Listen to me. I'm your reflection, so to speak. It's been my job to mirror your every single movement for the past, uh, whatever number of years it has been. I know all about your daily routine, and I've heard everything that you said about yourself, and it's not good. And it's not entirely true either. I'm sorry you feel this way about yourself, but buddy... Constantly saying these things about yourself isn't going to make it any better. Alright, first things first. I want you to know that you're an amazing and beautiful person. Don't let anyone ever tell you otherwise. Not even your own brain. Contradicting, yes, but it's true. It really sucks how we're often our own harshest critics about everything we do. We feel that whenever we see these imperfections... Ugh, whether it be something on our body, something about ourselves and what we can do, we suddenly feel like we're not good enough and we have to be perfect. And we must keep going and going and going until we reach perfection. But let me go ahead and tell you this. You're already perfect. All these so-called imperfections you have, that's what helps make you you. And believe me, the people out there who will see you and accept you for who you are, not who you're trying to imitate, like my job, ironically. But yeah, you're beautiful, you're amazing, and you're perfect just the way you are. And don't think for a second that having these negative thoughts and emotions about yourself make you any less valid compared to anyone else. Because I can tell you right now that is far, 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 far from the truth. Everybody has had these thoughts every once in a while, okay? Okay. So don't think for a second that you'll ever be alone in this. Got it? You know, I don't want to be weird or anything, but I always thought you had such a pretty smile. What? Well, I'm serious. It's true. Every time I mimic your smile, it always brightens my day. Of course, you wouldn't know that unless... Yeah, unless this happens. What? Oh, right, 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 you should freshen up a bit. It is kind of nice out today, isn't it? Well, I wouldn't really know. It's not like I'm a weatherman or something. Oh, no, I'm not stuck in this single mirror in your bathroom. Like I said, 
I'm your reflection. Right, right, right. This means any surface that can cast a reflection of light, I'll be there. Of course, it wouldn't be wise to just chat it up with you since, you know, I'm not trying to make you look crazy. You may want to burn the house down if I do, which I would not be a fan of because this is a really nice bathroom you have. What kind of tile is that? Oh, you don't remember? Well, that's all right. Let me know if you ever look into it because I might just replace the ones I have in my bathroom. Oh, <laughs> no. I have my own room and everything. My own place, to be exact. You just can't see it, obviously. How else do you think I got these books? Well, I'm sure my chatterbox self has already kept you distracted long enough. So I'll just get up and do my job so you can get on out of here. Well, I can't just stop mimicking you. I mean, I need to make sure you don't accidentally hurt yourself. Tell you what. Uh, this is going to be a bit tricky since obviously I never had to talk while mimicking before, but I'll do the best I can. And if you need me to shut up so you can focus or anything, please let me know. Deal? Deal.